We've got a great start to this morning in terms of conditions. It's uh, our tea off is just after eight o'clock and uh, it's so still, there is no breeze whatsoever. But Kilmarnock Barassi, first tee, par five. And what a gorgeous day. <laughs> Located on the outskirts of Troon, Kilmarnock Barassi proudly boasts of having four golfers represent Great Britain and Ireland at the Walker Cup. Nice little surprise on the par five opener. I played a fairly short iron in. Uh, didn't see the bunker hidden down here to the right, but again, you'll see a massive camber again, off to gather that. So again, uh, Scottish course design, done properly. Fairly steep bunker as well. And you can see, hopefully from that camera, there's a bit of a runoff straight down to the hole. That's carried it all the way, sit down. Yeah, it's not bad, it's further than I would have liked to have thrown it. Ideally, just wanted to drop it. I don't know, that's quite good to be fair. Great feel about it, plenty of definition in terms of the uh, the yellow grass that looks superb. A couple of bunkers framing the fairway. Nice stone wall, again ticking all the boxes. A ball in the middle of the fairway wouldn't go on this. Chase that uh, mower down, I think, is the, is the idea. Got to cut a bit, a bit more. Oh, that bunker left at the minute. Oh, that's okay, I think. Get too far down the left, what a gorgeous golf hole that is. Right, still 180 in. Uh, looks like there's a, a few bridges there, so I suggest there's a, a burn, but that's quite a way short. Um, I don't think we can afford to go left. It's a great golf hole, this is. see some bouncing kick off. Ah, do you know what? It was such a good strike, it was just too bold. It was everything I said I shouldn't do. Well, we landed on the green, and uh, if you look at uh, top right, that's where I thought we were heading into. We had enough club, obviously, to clear it. Like I said, I didn't know what lied over, uh, lay over the top. And it's obviously just kicked in um, and pinched a little bit of the green. More luck than judgment, but yeah, there was, again, I've drove past it now, but there was a, a burn that runs right across the front. And without doubt, only three holes in, but this is uh, my favourite golf hole so far. It'd be nice to get a birdie on it. I think this must be low on the stroke index, surely. It's a slippy one down the hill. Oh, come on, and That's terrible. Terrible. It looked to me as though it was going to run away, and it was a real feeble effort. Right, save it. Positive. Yes. A bit breaking that as well. I'd have been annoyed then if I'd have walked off with a bogey. Great golf hole though. described as the perfect par three. A burn to the left, a pop bunker on the right, 
and a small green that will offer little in the way of sympathy to anything other than a good shot. I decided not to trouble the green. Stretch three, four, and five is so nice, and again, got a great, uh, great feel about it. Again, railway comes into play. Looks fairly tight fairway. It's playing. What are we playing off here? It's not it's not the longest, maybe it's not driver off the tee actually. Oh, that's down the midland. Best drive of the day. trying to master the bump and run it's uh, I don't think I'll ever master it and uh, I always reference trying to play it but I think any shot like this you've uh, you've got to try and get it in the locker to play some links golf around Scotland so what is that good I think it's good you know keep going keep going keep going oh, so I think it's a I think it's still a fair bit for enough flag it was a decent effort I'll play it with an eight iron, and one day I won't. I'll never master it, but I might get better at it. That's a tiny green. And that pin doesn't look too friendly either. Oh, stay. Just hold that line. Stay. Another great example of uh, miss it by a couple of foot and uh, then run offs. Make life difficult. But that's what you want, innit? That's what you want to experience. The, uh, that tricky little pin I referred to, but just look at the changes in terms of the movement on that green. You got some great pin positions, and it is small as well. It's tiny, and uh, you'll see. I was only literally a few feet off, and my ball has ended up down here in this little gathering. If we can drop that camera down a little bit, there you go. And that's what you face with back. Go in. Oh, well, from going, it's gone, uh, it's gone away past. And now I'm struggling to make par. But you just love it. You love Scottish golf. That was such an hard little shot to get that close because this is right on a downslope again. Do you know what? It's, it's not that bad of a result, really. We're going to get the par. I can feel it. Come on. Oh, oh. Green a par five. This is a put for eagle, and I don't get many of these. So if it goes in, I want it on camera. Hit it and hit it and. 
I hate it, it got there. I thought it was going to stay short of pace and uh, well, it's a tapping birdie. So still no eagle. Well, we talked about little bunkers and how they feed on the, uh, well, early on in the video. And again, a classic example. I don't know if this is newly laid looking at it actually, but uh, certainly got my ball on the full, you can see. You might've got the splash of sand from the tee shot. And uh, it doesn't give you no option really, but to, uh, we're just going out sideways. And shot lost. We'll have to try and make up and down from there. But uh, I said it on the other videos, bunkers always seem to be in the uh, in the wrong place, don't they? Right, last shot at Kilmarna for Rossi. It's got a bit chilly, I think, but I've got a, it's the last shot's from the fairway. Birdies are finished, and they're uh, rolling through dinner. David went on to explain that a birdie on Hogan's Hole would see golfers rewarded with a special memento, and even with a two to three club headwind, the challenge was on. A reasonable drive narrowly avoiding the fairway bunker left me 176 yards directly over that infamous bunker. It would require my Sunday best, 